afternoon, good evening, good morning, hello, 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 and welcome back to Hitman 3, The World of Assassination. This has actually been the first day I've actually had. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this has been like the first day where I have felt in a good enough place to stream. It's not that I didn't want to stream. It's not that I probably couldn't stream. It's just the fact of I had. I'm, I do want to see like the worst headache. I had literally. It wasn't a headache. It was a full on goddamn migraine. Every day since Sunday night. That's why I haven't streamed. I have literally had like a piercing headache here and a toothache here for the last three, four days. It has fucking sucked. I literally have I have had like like I said I've had piercing it's like right there it's like right in the temple you know where you just feel it just what it's like a white hot fucking poker just stabbing you in the temple over and over and over again I've had that for the last four days it sucks I um, lit I was literally just in that much pain. I was just like, no, nah, I, I, I can't do this. I cannot stream. I have literally been living off painkillers for the last few days. They have been the only things to, to literally keep me basically sane. To keep any way shape or form of sanity within me that's it being the only thing and i'm telling you right now it's it, it's hurt it has hurt to i'm telling you right now it, to literally if, well this room i was literally just sitting in the dark the only lights with my monitors was coming off so yeah I was in considerable pain. Where were they? Uh, <sighs> you not have a load button. Seriously. How do you not have a load button? I think I'll have to try and load it from within the game itself. I'll be fine. But my head was in constant pain. My jaw was in constant pain. And I was like, I, if I survive this, I'm going to be so thankful. I have. But I was literally in that much pain because of how cold it was on Sunday. Sunday was probably the coolest I've ever had it ever been for a long, long time. And so going from Sunday into Monday, it kicked off the headache. It kicked off the toothache. And nothing was helping. Yes, I'd had Monday off, and I was going to go, okay, I'm going to do the world of a I'm going to finish this fucking game if it kills me. I didn't even load it up. Oh, excuse me. I didn't even load the fucking game up. It was just, I can't do this. I, I, I can't physically touch this game. I am, I am so tired. It is, it's not going to work. I'm not going to do anything.
There you go. Yeah, load that up. There we go. So the game's loading up properly. But I was just in that much pain. It was just unreal. I couldn't do anything. I was just like, I'm just going to sit here and chill. Played some data boy. That was it. Okay, so there's one there. One up there and one elsewhere. Okay. That. 47. This is one of the Mumbai trawls. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. It might be worth looking into. Okay. What's what's that? Oh, it's nine. You always said that you love to hear me. Hmm. Yeah, where's the way up? Yo, uh, where's the way up? I tried to go up there to spy on some things, but he was already there. Shot for sure. Okay. Well, well. It appears we have a rival assassin in Mumbai, and he's training his sights on Darwood Rangan. By the looks of it, I'd say we're dealing with a local operator known as the Kashmirian. A local hitman known as the Kashmirian is in Mumbai on business. He set up a sniper nest in a tower above a stairwell in the local tool. Yep. It appears he's targeting the luxury apartment. I'll never get that scope adjusted with this horrible viewfinder. What I wouldn't give for a world-class sniper rifle right now. Uh, don't worry about that, my dude. Karen it's Dahl, oh. a.k.a. the Kashmirian, was born in the U.S., but fled to his mother's native land, India, 20 years ago, following an hmm. FBI investigation into a string of serial killings in Texas. He adopted a new identity here, and now works as a gun for hire for local mobsters but who would want Rangan dead yeah yes who indeed hi sorry Come, coming through don't worry, Jill. It's Maybe fine. He's a traveling salesman or something. I'm sure it's him. My cousin lives in and he went to the me. You go that see that see. Let's go.
There we go. Nice. Still trying to find the right hey. range for the shoot, but in case they do, we need to be ready with the deck. You bet. Oh, he knows I'm not me. Oh, <laughs> sorry. So, yeah, feel I'm getting pinged. Come through. Oh, that's not good. When are you going to be done mixing those colors? I mean, how long can it take? Stop joking, people, you maniac! Don't worry. There we Watch me get pressed. I'm sure will be there. Ah, Mr. Hossein, ready at last. Did you get a shame? Me? Yes. Come with me to the lounge. After you, Mr. Rangan. This looks like a very recent picture of the maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out of the Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Nope. Damn it. Okay, that was uh that was greedy on my part. That was so greedy. Uh. There you go. Ah, Mr. Hossein, ready at last. Did you get a shame? Yes, my face was itching me. After you, Mr. Rangan. There we go. Ah, beautiful. Hey, what's up? Magnificent use of colors and form. Looks like shit. If the new piece catches my forceful nature like this, I will have nothing short of a masterpiece on my hands. I'll be the envy of everyone. I guarantee a perfect execution, Mr. Rang. Stand 
All right, 47. You know, Let's see if the aim of our Kashmirian friend is true. But no, that fixed it. the word gets out and my art appreciating friends see it, your phone will be ringing off the hook. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission, by the way. I'm not stingy. No, no, not at all. But if I'm already paying you in exposure, hmm? well, that was stingy to make. Overdo it, huh? you know. I prefer cash over exposure. Clench your fist, please. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> but sometimes exposure can be worth more than just money. Look, in this case, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Just wait and see. When you're done with this job, the contracts will be rolling in. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Rangan. Can you look up a bit? Thank you. That shot <laughs> came from the trolls. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead, and not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? Hold up, 47. The Kashmirian is on the move. He's heading for another flat inside the trolls. This might be worth investigating. If nothing else, we may get a lead on who his client is. The Kashmirian is moving to an apartment in the Chul. Yep. I will. I just need to pick something up. Like a very recent picture of the maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. No! Will someone help me? I'll out here! No way! Move it, copy. No sign of any pup. Moving on. Who could have done such a thing? Piece of work is roaming around here, killing as he goes along. Trying to look hey, like you, a security you man. Get out so look out, no, okay? Tell me you don't know what went down here. No don't. Perfect here. God damn it. Find him. Take this. And this. And this. You are. Yep, please help, please help. Please. What does the bastard look like? I mean, it's insane! It's insane, it just happened. Yes! Excuse me, coming through. Look out.
Hi. How you doing? It appears the Kashmirian is using this room as a base of operations. Let's see what he's up to in here. So, the Kashmirian is scoping out a bridge in an area primarily used as a laundry business. Interesting. It recently changed ownership and now belongs to Vanya Shah. It looks like he's found a new target and is waiting for her to get on the bridge. Perhaps your mentoring days aren't entirely over yet. in Johannesburg. She was supposed to be on the bridge already. The incident. Infiltrate the foreman's office. Okay. Uh, how do I get? I need to get further down and around. The new foreman looks to be. A I don't think I know you. Look, man, don't ignore me. I don't know where the papers are. If I could don't you what on earth? Hey, please, someone help me. I have ideas for this. This could happen. But for now... Watch me have to be frisked. So... Uh, just so we are very clear on what can come... Look like you've done something you shouldn't have. Am I right? No. You know I. Uh, you just come up to hide some incriminatory evidence, and you know everyone just assumes the worst.
There you go. What's this? Iron. I can't really go, go about unlocking doors like that, because that's... Hello. What was that? The... Thug. I haven't met the new foreman yet. Is he better than the last one? Watani here. He's still in the office. I know Miss Shah is supposed yep. to meet with him on the bridge and talk about how to make you lazy workers do more. But so far, he hasn't come out. Who are you calling lazy? I work 15 hours every day. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Just relaying the words of Miss Shah. I think she's hoping this new guy will be liberal with his belt. If you know what I mean. <sighs> Great. I'm ready for my right. meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. The foreman's ready to meet up with. I keep thinking I'm getting pinged in them. Miss Shah on the bridge. We're heading there now. Follow me to the bridge. Boy, kapde gande hai abhi bhi. You need to put in more effort. That's hey, keep up. It's this way. Just follow me. Sorry, I was just looking at a lead pipe. Chal, get a move on. You're not on a break. I haven't done the one with the tailor yet. I really should. Aja, it's just through here. Miss Shah will be along soon. Better get your shit together if you don't. So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last, you think? A week? Depends on what the queen decides to Maybe. do with him, I guess. He looks tough enough. Might last a week in the pits. Maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. I don't think he has what it takes. Yeah. No, thank you. I do not do that. I would never do that. But thank you for the offer. But I do not ever, ever want to do that stuff. I'm sorry, but no. I don't do that shit. I don't buy viewers. I don't, uh, I don't buy anything. I'd, ra I'd much rather not... I, I'm sorry, but that's the kind of shit I don't want to do. I don't ever want to see. That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Okay. The new foreman finally graces us with his presence. Oh, hi. What do you have hi. to report? Well done, 47. You've managed to lure Vanya Shaw out into the open. Anything could happen here. Yes. I see a lot of dead weight. Hmm. I've made a similar observation. 
on me move. Okay. The objective is find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like yep. your thinking. How would you approach the task you see before you? My usual method is prepare intensely, study the problem, learn yep. everything I can, analyze all approaches. The idea is to gently nudge people to do what I want. Come on, it's got a clear shot. The objective is in my sights. Perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process. Not no. at all. In fact, I find that happens quite often. I like you, Finn. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. I think I don't see you down there, little ants, scurrying about at your own pace, taking unnecessary breaks, Come on. my water, wasting my money. You have had it easy up until now, but your new foreman will bring some order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? Oh. Whoa. That is Vanya Shah taking care of 47. Are you planning on outsourcing all your work to the Kashmirian from now on? <laughs> the Kashmirian is on the move again. It's paid off to follow him so far. Maybe he will lead us to the maelstrom. How are you, sir? 47, the Kashmirian is on the move again. Okay, I just... I literally want all my guns back. I say that. Are you just planning on outsourcing everything to him? Pretty much. Uh. And this is a fresh disguise. Thank you for noticing. A lot of them are uh, compromised. Come through. Just blending in. You don't know me, but your boss will want to talk to me. By now, he should have found out about the unfortunate fates of Rangan Shah. Yep. I Hopefully. Responsible. Mad. No, no, no. On the contrary, I consider it mm. a successful job. Tell me where to go. Ah, yes, of course. I'll be there in no time. This is why I have to knock him out and go dressed as him. Forty-seven. That man there. He resembles the maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. Has anyone seen okay. Marvin Sagar? I have a job interview today and I desperately need him to shave me.
Let's see. I cannot believe Dawood Rangan donated that TV to the people of the slums. And to hear that serpent Banya Shah talking about how he does nothing for us. Looks like no problem. <laughs> That's okay. One sec. Yep, how to get first. Yeah, yeah. I've got nothing on. Right then, off you go. So, you're the one who called. The boss was intrigued. We'll see you. Better make it good. I'll do my very best. Come with me. Yes, boss. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. You've got some balls, man. Killing two of the city's most ruthless people is a job interview. <laughs> That's something else. Oh, well, worked, didn't it? Hey, Dost. All right, it's just in here. Good luck. In there? Time to face the dragon 47. Fine, I'll get frisked. Fine. Frisk again with the frisking. So I'm assuming someone's gonna be coming to meet me at some point, right?
Would that be Chico the Barber? Yeah. He was literally about to shit himself when we brought him down here. Boss had insisted on blindfolding him out here. I think he... Hi there, friend. Hi. So I'm assuming someone... You don't belong here. Oh my god. Fine. Don't you move. Put those damn hands in the air. Maybe Watson. You just, you've got this man. <laughs> Teach this punk a lesson. For fuck's sake. That was bollocks. That was pure bollocks. This is like real dumb. Was just like, oh, okay, we'll go meet the guy. Okay, I uh, guess the fuck what, dude. Yeah. Okay. You Come don't on. Know me, but your boss will want to talk to me. By now, he should have found out about the unfortunate. What's that? Feel. I so I so often feel like I'm getting picked on Discord, and I'm not. I don't know why. Hi. Just uh, chill with my tablet. On the contrary, I consider it a successful job interview. Just tell me where to go. Ah, yes, of course. Forty-seven. That man there. He resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. Okay. No luck. Where is he? I need a shield. Why isn't the shop open yet? No luck. Next. I cannot believe that would 
Drungan donated that TV to the people of the slums. And you hear that serpent Banya Shah talking about how he does nothing for us. Red fire, the red fire. There we go. You wanna get through here? I need to First me, brothers. I'm not exactly enjoying this either, so just stay still and we'll be done soon. Oh yeah, just fucking first me faster, please. Go on ahead. So you're the one who called. Yes. The boss was intrigued. See you. Better make it good. I'll do my very best. Come with me. Okay. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, forty seven. Good luck. Well, someone's got to die, Anna. Killing two of the city's most ruthless people as a job interview. <laughs> That's something else. Yeah, hey. All right, Not so just fast here. there, pretty boy. Good luck. Let's see if you're carrying first. Just stand still. We won't have any problems, okay, pal? That's it. You can go through. Time to face the dragon, 47. The mysterious stranger enters the lion's den. 47. I no. guess you know Those where eyes. I know. That can only be Wazir Kale, the maelstrom. Yep. Identification Two confirmed. Two of my most trusted allies are dead. Childhood. Friends, life, or the infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, Lady Seven. Nope. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. I hide him. You don't need that there. There we go. First time I've done it that way. Nice. Nice, nice. Ding. What's that? Fuck's sake.
Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Could never have taken that long on that one mission. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Huh. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs are almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Yep. Not a trap. An invitation. And even now, wow. you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where father trained us, shaped us into killers for providence. Uh, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. Wow. Okay. I remember everything. Terrorist with nothing to lose, you'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact. You and I. Do this, and we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Wow. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? to take them all down. Bad assery there. 47 remembering his past. And yeah, it said two hours. It's been like, almost, it's been over three. So how are you guys doing in chat tonight? You doing good? Do I do a Christmas stream on Saturday or oh, Sunday, sorry. Do I want to do a Christmas stream? I don't know. I've got my I'm not gonna lie, I've got my eye on a few graphics cards. One's uh Let 
What's that? Uh, hold on. Has it not even been processed yet? That's weird. Uh, a 10, a 1650 with uh, 4 gig, but it's DDR6 RAM. Uh, DDR, it's DDR6, and the other is a 1650 just beating DDR5. I know if I get it, I'm going to see little to... I'm going to see fuck all improvement. I am. I know that much. But at the same time, I'll get more RAM in as well, which is going to help. Wow. It is legitimately still not in stock. How the fuck is that possible? Uh, I don't know. But, like I said, I've got two graphics cards in mind. Well, which, which I'll probably be getting one of them after after Christmas. I uh, can't remember. Let's <sighs> check. Okay. I need to actually see when I'm working. After Christmas, because I'm off New Year's Eve, and I think, yeah, I'm off New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I want to know, uh, that's this week's, that's next week's. Possibly, if I get one from like Newcastle, that'd be the, the hundred pound one. I could probably get it probably Monday if it's open on Monday. If the place is open, if not, it would probably be. Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, what go to get it? If they still have it in stock, which is no guarantees. It is absolutely no guarantee. I mean, I could get it on the Monday after New Year's. I'd probably just go, okay, fuck it. I'm going into Newcastle. I'm going into the town and I'm going to get it. But again, no guarantees. I'll still have the damn thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, you know, there's no guarantee they'll still have it in stock then. And this is like a second hand thing. It's not like I'm buying it brand new. So... You know, I've got uh, a lot of things planned. I've got stuff I could work through, and guess what? It's probably not going to... It may not work. I don't know. But uh, this would help me... Um, this could help. Especially with running games, especially when I upgrade the RAM, that I'm because I'm gonna get more RAM. So I'm not gonna just be going. Okay, I've got uh, the small amount of RAM available, and that's it. Hey, Nessa.
How are you, how are you doing today? Nice. I have... Oh. Wow, I, I somehow marked a lot of us as unread. I don't even know how I did that. I've got a work in progress from uh, Mr. Tito. I'm good. Um, I'm just thinking of things. I don't know if I want to do like a stream on Sunday because Christmas Day. I might, but probably not. That's the uh, work in progress. She is going to be the MILF of war. But, uh... You know, well, I, I've got so many ideas, so many plans. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, especially for like upgrading my computer, because I want to get better uh, RAM and whatnot. Yeah, I got that like uh, almost four hours ago, and he said he'd be back in two. I I don't know. I I, I don't know if he said I might come back, but he said I must. But. I, I think he's probably just, you know, got back and just went, no, I'm done, I'm out. But I do have ideas for to get a second half, a, a better graphics card than what I've got, and more memory. So I'm going to be getting more RAM um, in about a week. Oh. Uh, I'll be ordering, I'll be putting the order in on, like, New Year's Eve. I probably won't get it to, like, the Monday. But I'm, I'm going to be getting more RAM because I need my computer to be, you know, up to snuff for playing stuff like Spider Miles. Because not being able to play that sucks. I want to play uh, God of War on like something better than the fucking graphics I've got without it sucking, without it just you know going at like ten frames a second because that sucks. Upgrading my CPU might help as well. I mean, I want to build a whole new computer at some point, so that won't help. That's kind of a thing. I could just transplant the graphics card memory from this computer when I get it, when I get most of the stuff to the new, to a new one. So, you know. <sighs> I have an idea for a, a character though. He's a shy kitty boy. With uh, small boobs, and he likes to, and he's gonna be cosplaying as the boy from um, God of War. With uh, Perry and Laura cosplaying as Kratos, and just going, boy. Just over his head. And I'll be looking all shy and just like, no, oh, I do. <sighs> has the game crashed? I fear the game has crashed. Game, have you crashed?
game hasn't crashed, it's just been trashed. It's been outright trash at this moment in time. We were gonna tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever heard us. We failed. The partners yep. grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to <laughs> us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but the he's Constant. Faithful. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive. If. He's oh, alive. this is ifs. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just going to hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. <sighs> Fine. 47's memory was wow. erased. Irreversibly at the time, but... After Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. An antidote for memory erasure? Oh, okay. Convenient. Shop, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. <clears throat> I will finish what I started. There we go. Now hold still. Subject 47. Most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The what subject incident? ran away. He and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. I miss. I really do having like fully animated cutscenes. I'll have like something like this. In order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I'm also thinking I need a shave. One sec. Uh, there we go. Did I ever show you Hideyoshi, uh, Nessa? The character. I can't remember. I 
for sure. Uh. There he is, the boy. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white collar professionals. University staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Okay. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards. And intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Yep. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. What do you think of him? And find us a lead. Forty-seven. I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel. But these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information you need. Good luck. Thank you, Diana. Yeah, all right. Good luck, pal. You'll need it. Have a flyer. Read more about Charles Blake the Third. One sec. Okay, so there's objective, objective, objective. Well, there's one. I could ice this fool right now if I wanted. I know. Okay. Vault. And You don't see me. Shush. It's fine. Huh? What? What, huh? Nothing. Yeah, Doc, I know. But this fatty guy is driving me crazy. Every time he sees me, he comes out and wants to talk. And the problem is he just won't shut up. Always bragging about that damn law firm. No, I missed that. I think. You know what I like about you guys? You're just so chill. He is a very, very shy boy. Oh, one sec. He's also... If I can get to the pictures... Done some very not some very naughty things as well. Yeah, he's been sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks.
looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of past shimmers, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal, or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. That's gotta be something from the old man's archives. Huh. If that's one of James's well, diaries, it, it might contain some important book. information about oh, his past. Our pass. Or maybe I... something that can help us locate the constant. Hmm. Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. Can I? Can I? Hi, how you doing? Baseball bar? Nah. Hey, did you grab the pack of smokes that was thrown over the fence from the old guy's garden? No, man. I'm trying to so, Janus smokes okay. despite being dependent on an oxygen tank and his bodyguard's insistence on hiding his cigarette. I wonder what might happen if he combined. Ah, well. You know, I think someone in there is trying to help the old geezer stop as well. By throwing his coffee pails over the fence? Seems pointless. There's no reason for him to kick the habit when he's already so close to kicking the bucket. I say... Hi, how you doing? God damn it. Ah, Larry, wasn't it? Hey, Sam, how's it going? Oh, I, I swear I have a license for it. I just don't bring it with me. You can't just confiscate my property. I need it to get rid of an aggressively invasive mole in this poor old man's backyard. Calm down, demolition. One of Janus's gardeners has decided to clear a series of mole tunnels using explosives. I applaud his enthusiasm, but... Man, unless it's a flesh-eating mutant mole, you don't need explosives. We're gonna keep them safe in our trunk until you produce yeah. a license, okay? Ah, oh, come on, man. It's standard procedure. So what do you think of the, uh, second pictures with them? Look it up on YouTube. Sir, if the American police force looked to YouTube as guiding principle for standard procedure, I'm pretty sure civilization would have collapsed a long time ago. God damn it. Yeah. Oh sure, if you play around a little with some fertilizer, propane, and gasoline. Okay, so he's out cold. Anything else?
Excuse me. What are you doing here? Me? Nothing. Hey, hold it. Stop. What? I I'm walking away. You're coming with me. Understood? <sighs> Why? Hold it right there. Hey, you. You will die today. No, I won't. Engage at will. Target lost. Target lost. Command our copy. Following up on a disturbance on Big Cat's twelve. Hey! Both heard that crack. I'd advise you to slowly raise both hands over your head. Hands behind your head, big boy. That's right. Ah! <laughs> That is Hideyoshi and his brothers. Hey, yo, jeez. Hey, someone help me out. That was just fucked up. Okay. Harry has a naughty family, doesn't she? Wow, I've gone way the fuck back. Christ. Yeah, Doc, I know. But this fatty guy is driving me crazy. Every time he sees me, he comes out and wants to talk. And the problem is he just won't shut up. No, no, that's that. Excuse me. You know what I like about you guys? You're just so chill. Not like Janet. I have never met a man so full of bile. I mean, I'm just trying to help him, and he's behaving like a complete. Now, I'm not ever gonna say no. It's like he's been sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's yeah. reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of Past Shimmers, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal, or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. It's yeah. maybe something from the old man's archives. Oh. If that's one of Janus's well, diaries, it, out it might contain some important one. information about oh, his past. Our past. Or maybe something that can help us locate the constant. That's right, move along. Scoot off. Hmm, one of Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. Oh. I don't think they noticed that again. License for it. I just don't bring it with me. You can't just confiscate my property. 
I need it to get rid of an aggressively invasive mole in the poor old man's backyard. Calm down, demolition man. One of Janus's gardeners has Calm down, a demolition series man. of mole tunnels using explosives. I applaud his enthusiasm, but sadly, local police have confiscated his equipment. Unless it's a flesh-eating mutant mole, you don't need explosives. We're gonna keep them safe in our trunk until you produce that license, okay? Oh, come on, man. Forget it, we need them. We'll dump the hole, and if you blow up the tunnel system so it collapses, look it up on YouTube. Sir, if the American police force looked to YouTube as guiding principles for standard procedure, I'm pretty sure civilization would have collapsed a long time ago. God damn it. Did you? I need a drink. I really do. And also getting a bit of a headache. Tell me about that. Disguised as Gardner. I am disguised as Gardner. I can't get that disguise. Confiscate your stuff and treat you like a goddamn terrorist. But when your car gets oh, keyed by your neighbor's dim-witted okay. son, well, they're all like, "Sorry, sir. I'm afraid we need more evidence." Hmm. What was that noise? I don't know. You might well go check it out. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. I can't let you through, okay? Please leave the area. I can't get out and around. Look at that, in and out, didn't even draw any attention. No attention was gathered this day. Yeah, it's just dead, Jesus.
understand you have a mole problem. Oh, you're a godsend. Let's get straight to it. The sooner this is fixed, the sooner okay. I won't have to listen to Mr. Janus' complaints. Follow me. Following you. As you can see, we have a mole issue. Now, I know a permanent solution might take some time, but if you could just fill the holes by the end of the day, it'd be great. Come find me when you're done. Anything yet? How long did he talk for? Oh, I can't really be sure. You know, found out eventually. It's not as bad as that time I used the gramophone inside the house, though. Man, that tune kicked off some old memories and it's a long ass story. He dragged me down to the basement and showed me all of his memorabilia. You know how it works. Interesting. Maybe you should try to spark some of those old stories, Forty Seven. Who knows what secrets Janus might reveal? I guess there's one way to go about it. Well, he's a professional. So he's not gonna uh, bother me again. I'm gonna find three more holes. Three more mortals. Two more. I don't know where all the mortals are. One. Where is the last one? I don't even know where the, the last one is. I'm done. Great. Let me have a quick look. Basement four. Bit unorthodox, maybe, but you got the I job done. Can deliver mail to every Let me get Mr. Class. Janus. We can inspect it for himself. Today. Can I just say, this part That's the one he's going to inspect? Hey, tell Mr. Janus the molehills have been fixed. I'm so sorry. I'm really All right. Sorry. Janus should be here to inspect so, uh, the work soon, 47. I'm 
sure this whole inspection is gonna remind Janus about something exciting. Learn a lot by delivering people. I'm sure that he's gonna tell us all about it. You know, old people syndrome. Yep. Just play along. Nice house. Better yet, keep your distance. We don't often see houses for sale here, but you got one of the good ones. In the past ten years, I've only seen this property and the old Schmidt house for sale. Shame about old Schmidt. Was that the house with the mysterious death? Ah, you heard about that one. Yes, they found him upstairs. I called Sheriff Masterson myself after noticing his mail from the day before hadn't been picked up. Mr. Janus's people, who work for Mr. Janus, told me he was supposed to be home, but there was no answer. I swear if he's gonna inspect that one first, that's not gonna work. But it's quite gory. Gone? He said it looked like a slaughterhouse in there. Blood Mr. Janus. Janus, Cold War spy master and the first the Providence office. constant. Yes, Mr. Janus. I wonder how much he remembers, how little he cares. They do look filled to me. Well, I think I'll be the judge of that myself. Thank you very much. Beautiful work. The pests will soon be gone, and then I can get back to planting my vegetables. Come on. Oh, if I know that was going to be the first one he went to, well, I would have missed one. Okay. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still. We are close now, 47. Corridor is clear. That was uh That was a new one for me. Roger that. Nothing at my position. Clear. Are we okay? Okay. What's up? Hmm. This guy knows who I am. Or who I'm not. Hey there. Hi. I'm talking to you, sir. <gasps> Received and understood. Take this! God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Just had to walk in at the wrong time. Oh wait, now I know which one he's gonna be looking at first. Once I controlled the whole world. Now 
Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still. We are close now, 47. Maybe one or two, it's fine. It's fine. How easy was that that time? I was just like, oh okay, now I know which way he's going. Boom. Done. to my darling but i've got to do some sewing janus has a dressing gown that needs a few touch-ups and he's getting anxious apparently he needs it for something soon you seem to have so the many things for janus what could he need that for well he isn't gonna need it for he isn't gonna need it now Are the best muffins I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house showing today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him, Mr. Nolan Cassidy? Um, can say that I do. Well, a realtor with a taste for the sweet things in life is in Whittleton Creek to show a house to Nolan Cassidy. It looks like he's he's, uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road. You know, the one that police shut down after the well incident. I'm not really from around here, Sir Nolan. I don't know anything about that. Ah, I see. Well. Never mind. He can wait a lick. Huh. And thank you for shopping locally. Ah. We have a free muffin promotion going on today. So everyone can get a taste of our products and not just our hype. Oh, that's cool. Don't be shy. Go for it. I think I should try it. Being rat poison. No one's questions this either. Need another, um, uh... damn dude, you're blind. Damn. Recommend the gluten-free blueberry, personally. Great. You know the... 
certainly things sweeter than a freshly baked muffin. Strange. Your smile. Can't say I've heard that one before. I need to actually not be there looking at me. Hey, go see what's up, okay? For sure. Not bad. Hey. Settle down. It's nothing. That's a relief. Uh, oh. Okay, that has to be enough sugar for one day. I better go find that guy. Lee guy. I don't want to keep him waiting all day. Do I have to clip this guy? I don't wanna. Welcome to Grand Town. In case you didn't know, your first time, I'd like to let you know that Granny's is a locally owned and operated business. Today, we're giving out free muffins to visitors. Each one baked with love and devoted to your own business. Well, I didn't want to have to do that. Not in the fresh air, but at the same time. Eh. What? Aren't you the realtor? Mr. Cassidy, I'm sorry for the delay. Yes. I'm ready to take you to the house. About time. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Last one on the right. Oh, he's in. Okay, nice. And there goes the feeling of getting pinged on Discord. Ah, finally. I've had my eye on this place for quite some time. Let's see what sort of secrets she holds. This is the downstairs living room. Yep. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. <laughs> Large room, two easy to get to exits, dark floors, hide stains easily. <laughs> Lots of potential. Yeah, that's not going to make me buy this place. Let's move on. A spare bedroom in case you have a lot of house guests it could also be used as an upstairs office or a storage space with easy access to the attic above that's all fine is there more to this house though oh they found the realtor 
Might want to clip this guy quick. Yet another room up here. I suppose you could use it as an office or recreational room of some sort. Maybe a place to store your memorabilia. Uh, interesting. Not really something that appeals to Jill for me. Three of eleven, Jesus. Here we have the master bathroom. Shower, toilet, double sinks. Perfect for the busy couple. And large enough to allow for privacy. Even when occupied. Here we have the master bathroom. Shower, toilet, double sinks. Perfect for the busy couple. And large enough to allow for privacy. Even when occupied by two people at the same time. What about storage possibilities? Anything of that nature you could show me? Dude, move. Jesus, Nolan. It looks like something violent took place here. Hmm. The previous owner seems to have been connected with Janus somehow. The police report mentions they found him here in a pool of blood. The house has been sealed off until a few weeks ago. Death was ruled as a severe allergic what reaction. Here? Someone yep. bled out here. Looks like a sudden hemorrhaging, blood pouring from the mouth and nose, possible vomiting of blood. Distance between the pools indicates wow. the person was conscious at first, but severely shocked. Handprint on the wall corroborates this. The person lost consciousness after 20 to 30 seconds, probably bled out matter of minutes there's a strong chance this was caused by a severe allergic reaction or a straight poisoning of some sort that's a very detailed description did you read the police report or something i dabble in forensic investigation among other things i see <laughs> well let's get the hell out of here oh god 47 has such a way with fucking words oh i wonder if i can go up into the attic for display Not too much to say about it. It's small, tends to be prone to a leaky roof, and likely houses various types of molds. What are you talking about? I don't care about some leaky attic. Get down here. Hey, I've got five more fucking rooms. Come on, Nolan. Uh, okay, I need them to literally be not here. This is the downstairs bathroom. Useful when cleaning off after a messy day of work. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. Well, give me a sec. The kitchen. Gas stove. Vinyl floors, which can be quite slippery when wet. Along with the bathroom, the kitchen is the most dangerous room in the home. That's not going to make me buy this place. Let's move on. Okay. Your standard garage. Spacious enough for someone to set up a gym or training area. With I like how 47 could just basically think up this on the fly. An individual could use this for many things. Anything more interesting to show me? It's all very familiar. 
Yeah, I've got... Uh... Nice work, Forty-Seven. Let's hope he doesn't set off the alarm somehow. All right, let me have a look at this thing. The okay. Paris Kronstadt Matrix Laser Home Security System. <laughs> we used to break these open for training at the academy. The thing about these systems is most homeowners are lazy. So they don't reset the factory settings and enter their own codes. Let's just try the standard admin code. Just for fun. Well, what do you know? It worked. Looks like Schmidt was a bigger amateur than I imagined. Outside and check the garden. I want to know how visible this vault is from the outside. Anything sticking out of the ground, weird sloping things like that. You got it, sir. So you're looking to sell this for uh, how much was it again? 1.1? Sounds about right. Well, I suppose that's not unreasonable. And this vault unit looks quite versatile. No, no, don't turn it back on. Both targets are Whoops. killed. Oh dear, that was a bit of an oopsie. That was an oopsie. Where's the microphone? Well, it was sort of a hobby that never really took off. Besides, I don't have any microfilm to play on the viewer anyway. I'm not sure I could find any either. Hmm. Well, Janus next door collects all kinds of ancient memorabilia. Crap. I'm sure he'd be delighted to lend you his name. That's very good. Oh crap. Oh, that's Janus. Oh, there's the screwdriver.
One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on. What's down here? Perhaps he's still attending these gatherings, 47. This could be valuable information indeed. Oh. Okay. Okay. So now I need to... Find where the microphone... I think I know where it is. I just can't remember exactly where it is. So, yep, they still haven't picked up on him. I think it's in there. I said, I think it's in here. Probably it. I don't really remember where anything is right now. All I said was, oh, it's in the attic. Okay. Which attic? Who's attic? The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. Maybe. Possibly. More than likely. Uh 
Wait, wait. Huh? Cassidy looks to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms. I'm gonna just blame one of the others. That's what I'm gonna do. Screw them. They never helped me. Screw them. Okay, so I know where it is. Yo, bodyguard. Okay. Hey, you drop off some Bailey's tapes and Jane into the house. Cassidy was asking. Wow, they've not even seen that. Okay. Hunted, and this outfit is compromised. Yeah, is this fucking Betamax or something? I understand you tried to reach me earlier. Ah, there you are, my boy. Yes, well, it's about the chairman's seat. I understand Frederick was overlooked despite my recommendations. I would appreciate an explanation of the reasoning behind the decision. Yep, I, it's compromised, I need to find a new disguise. Where's this other one? Oh, just next door, right. Station eight. Huh, strange. Not done yet. Chill. A ceremonial robe of some sort with a note from Janus attached. Hmm. The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47. Good work, 47. 
We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. Okay. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. Hi. Oh, the guy got up. Oh, well. And he just gets on wearing the robe. next week. Nitro freak, what the fuck? That took longer than I thought. But after this cutscene, I'm gonna end it here. And I'll pick up tomorrow, possibly. The Ark Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You all right? It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but like it happened to someone else. <laughs> your gift and your curse, what they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes, found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. Nice. Now I'm going to end it here because I'm getting kind of tired and I kind of want to <laughs> just chill and rest with YouTube. But I will see you tomorrow. Probably. Probably tomorrow. For more Hitman. And the World of Assassination. Take care folks. Have a good day. Have a good Thursday. Have a good Friday tomorrow. I'll see you possibly tomorrow. Take care folks.